Hey Cancers, welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We're doing your love reading for the week. I hope I'm finding you well. Remember, if this reading resonates, to please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower, linked below in the description. So what is coming up for Cancers this week in love? What is coming up, Spirit? What do you want them to know? We have in it for the money, <laughs> union of convenient superficial love transactional love someone doesn't want you to know that they got me coughing over here we've got shattered deep sadness heartbreak feeling rejected and in tune balance cooperation peace and harmony so i feel like you've gotten away all right maybe you learned the truth about this person and it did hurt okay but then i feel like you rejected them you pushed them away and now you feel a lot more in tune with yourself so this is good what does Cancer need to know about this? Emptiness, prolonged grief, suffering, and loss deeply affected. So this person, I feel, was just eating a hole in their own heart. They were only after one thing the whole time. All right. What was this? Shattered, deep sadness. Pregnancy, building a family, children, birthing something. So this could be someone, too, that was trying to, like, get pregnant um, or have a baby with you um, for the money. Okay, this is someone who's a little crazy. This could even be like someone here who, that's, that's literally all I'm getting. This is not a divine feminine in this picture. I feel like this is someone here that was trying to use that as a tool because they were superficial. And that's, that's nuts, okay? So it's a good thing it didn't happen. And then I feel like if this is where you're at right now, okay, let's say this is you. Okay, we're not looking at it from the other side. We're looking at it on the flip side. You are um, very much in tune and birthing something new, and you're very glad to be away from this person. Okay. We have the high priestess, inner knowing, secrets, mystery. Listen to your intuition. And this is coming in fast. Fast action, racing against time, not wasting any time. Okay. Damn with grass is greener in the reverse so someone here might have went in another direction maybe they got pregnant by someone else and they did this because i don't know why right but it's just like this person is very fucking weird that's what i'm getting off of it it's like they just i don't know and i feel like you you don't care either at this point right you're just listening to your intuition at this time and you're you're like vibrating really high and it's a good thing that you got away because this person was draining you of your energy. Mm-hmm. Damn. They could be mad that you're having a baby with someone else, too, if that's the case, okay? They feel like, why not me? And it's like, well, because you're a gold digger or, you know, you're, you're superficial. So what is this about? Cancer, Cancer. It says, heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. And this person is like suffering from this. They're mad because you moved on. Then we have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So I don't know if you used to have a union with this person, but they're mad that you're going towards someone else and you're feeling more complete. Some of you are engaged. And then we have date, meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan and set a date with hands of cards and seduction at the bottom here. So there was someone here that was just trying to be a third party interference, creating temptation. And then we get this taking a risk or taking a chance, risk being strategic options, not showing hand and gambling. So just know that this person was in it to try and break up a relationship through pregnancy or taking someone's finances. It didn't go in their favor. They're big mad about it. Who cares? You've learned your lesson. You're opening your heart to love again and getting back out there. Woo. Okay. Someone could be proposing to you, Cancer. You might be a little bit fearful because you're worried that this person is going to treat you like someone else. But we'll see what the tarot has to say about all this. What does Cancer need to know this week? When it comes to love, your intuition could even be telling you that this is the person you want to spend your life with, that you want this partnership or commitment with. I'm hearing Pisces for some. All right, what's coming up for Cancers this week? Them and the person coming towards them. You've got the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Even give and take in money. And then we have the Hermit with the Queen of Pentacles. 
So there's a lot about you finding a relationship that's balanced with someone that has the same kind of generosity as you or um, good fortune as you and doesn't deplete your money again is what I'm hearing. Tell me who's coming towards cancer. The world. And the hero font. Damn. And the Eight of Wands. This could be travel for some of you. Eight of Wands in the world. Could be an Aries Leo Sad for some of you that's wanting to communicate. But it's like new worlds are opening up. This person sees this for you. You've got this deep spirituality in your life. For some of you, this is Taurus, Virgo. Um, but it's like this person's out of a huge cycle in their life as well. And they're ready for commitment. And they're ready for commitment with you. Okay? What's happening between Cancer and this energy? The Five of Swords, there's someone here that just doesn't want it for you, okay? They're still stuck in their grief. And the Emperor, we have Aries here now, but also the Divine Masculine Energy. So this is how someone sees you. This is what you're kind of focused on. You're focused on this balance. You're focused on commitment. Um, new worlds are opening up. Money's looking balanced. And someone is causing you a fucking headache with the Five of Swords. It's like they're trying to project energy towards you. But this person was the one who was very resentful and deceitful. So this isn't your conflict to worry about. Okay. What's the outcome? The Four of Pentacles. It's like you're still holding things close to your heart. You have all that you need. Um... And you're saving, you're preserving. But I always notice her earring in this picture, and it represents prosperity. Can you see it? Kind of, sort of. Okay, so there is prosperity that you have, but you're not someone that over-exaggerates. You're not that materialistic, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's like you don't have to worry about money anymore, okay? What's at the top? The Ace of Cups with the King of Pentacles. I feel like everything's coming to you in time and the Two of Cups and releasing some kind of negativity that was in your life with the devil in the reverse, releasing someone that was toxic. This is beautiful. Loving yourself, then the abundance comes in, you feel stable and you find new love and you hold it dear. Okay? All right, let's see what's going on. Let's clarify, Cancer. The Six of Pentacles and the Hermit. Some of you could just be really thinking heavy too about like just getting more stable financially. That could be it too. And becoming this emperor energy and spirits bringing it to you regardless. What is this? The Eight of Cups emotionally walking away, removing... Hmm... Releasing the need to feel like you don't have enough and realizing this was implanted in your emotions. So you gained your wisdom about this. Tell me more. The Three of Cups. This is celebration, coming together with your soul tribe, celebrating something new, being surrounded by the people you actually want to be around, stepping into your divine masculine energy, seeing the hidden truths within yourself and around yourself, the High Priestess. What's the hermit? It, all could, it could also be, and I just have to say, it could be a third party situation with a uh, Pisces and an Aries. And then we get the Queen of Pentacles here. Hmm. With the Eight of Wands. Strong Virgo Feminine coming through now as well. Mm hmm. But I see you, like, again, manifesting this wealth for yourself because, again, you've released the need to control those kinds of things or people in your life. You've, re you've, let, the you've let it all go. And now things are flowing to you easily. And you're thinking about commitment. And if you're not, I think someone's definitely thinking about it with you. What is the world with the hero font? Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, this person wants marriage with you. They feel a spiritual connection. And then we got the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person knows exactly what they want with you. They're ready. They're going to communicate this. And they see you as this kind of person as well. They see you as someone who knows what they want and they take it. They know how to communicate it. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. What's the hero font? The Seven of Wands. This person also sees you as like a spiritual soldier. King of Cups is at the bottom here. So this is someone that sees you slay dragons, you protected your energy. And I feel like some of you too could have been in a past marriage where it was very conflictive. 
and you've released that. You're going towards uh, true spiritual connections in your life. Some of you could have been dealing with a disgruntled fire sign here um, that had a lot to say. And I feel like justice is being served in that situation, especially with the hero font and the queen of swords. It's like you get the final word. You've won. You've won something here. And I feel like it's love. I feel like it's healing. Inspiration. What is the five of swords? The nine of swords. Yeah, this person is so stuck in their head about something or how they did something wrong with you. They didn't take a chance or they just did the wrong fucking thing. And I feel like it was their illusions that they were creating. What do we got here? The Nine of Cups. And they see you getting your wishes, your fulfillment. So you're almost to the 10, right? So I feel like this is like this person realizing this is the end. Yeah, they can't fight you anymore. Five of Wands in the reverse. They can't bring this conflict. Mm-hmm. They did it to themselves. They see you celebrating and they see you getting your wish fulfillment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is the Emperor? The lovers, you're the first and only, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> person to get this today. You can have strong placements in Gemini and Aries, but this is someone you have a bond with. The angels are bringing you and this person together. Mm -hmm. This is marriage for me with the emperor being here. It's like being aligned with your divine feminine or masculine. It's time. And I feel like this person is like very protective over you as well, Cancer. Okay? But you're both wanting the same thing. What is the Four of Pentacles? Temperance. The Eight of Swords. And the Hermit. What's at the bottom? The Fool. <laughs> Lots of Aries energy coming out for you today. And then we have the uh, Ace of Cups, Strength. And the Fool. So this is a strong new love for yourself and another getting yourself back out there, being open to love. Mm -hmm. Then we get this, I feel like, look at how the Hermit and the Temperance are turning their back on this Eight of Swords. So it's like you've gotten the wisdom to alchemize this energy and it's done for you. You're comfortable in where you are and it's your guiding light. Okay? Mm-hmm. And your angels wanted you to gain this wisdom. You had to be stuck in your head for a little bit here to see that you had all that you needed right within you. And now you're being aligned to this deep spiritual love connection. Woo, Cancer. What else do you need to know this week? It says, time flies, fleeting moments, losing track of time quicker than expected. Straw into gold, alchemy, receiving what was lost, creating something out of nothing and justice. Balance, mutual benefit. Yes, your angels and guides are showing up this week. What else does Cancer need to know in this energy? Divine truth. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are. It brings to light all that's been hidden. Awakening. The awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection with grieving. They're stuck in grief, unable to see they have the power to create a positive change with twin flame you don't have to be or do anything for them to love you their higher self wants union just as much as you do so this person knows there's nothing that they can do to get in the way of this connection now it's bringing out a better version of you as well okay and your advice for cancer is time you're trying too hard give it time and wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So there's an emphasis on taking your time in this. Don't rush too quickly. And it'll unfold just the way that you want. Okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you. Bye.